so now your coaching staff is that has been intact for five years. Um, you've had success, three straight winning seasons, like we said, a Super Bowl appearance, AFC championship uh, for two seasons, win one and, and lose in another, another winning season. I mean, that's that's pretty good run of success. And your coaches are, are getting some attention, particularly Brian Callahan. I mean, he's having uh, multiple second interviews. W- what is it like, you know, kind of uh, sitting there waiting for how is this going to unfold? How much of my coaching staff will I have remaining when all this is said and done? Yeah, I mean, as we're talking, every time my phone lights up, I'm, I'm checking it to see <laughs> what the what the latest update is. And that's a positive thing. I, I think people think highly of, of how we've operated here and how we've conducted ourselves and the success yep. we've had. And so with that comes a lot of attention for your coaching staff. And that's a good thing. You know, I, I'd love to have the same staff here for 10 years straight. We've had an unprecedented run of five straight years of the same three coordinators and, and the bulk of the staff has remained the same. And I think that's helped us have the consistency we've had at the same time. It's, um, I'm, I'm going to be excited when an opportunity comes Brian's way because I know he's prepared for it and and uh, it gives other people an opportunity, you know. So uh, it, it's just one of those things where, you know, I'd, I'd love to keep the consistency here. It's also time for those guys to get their opportunities. And Brian's the one right now who's, who's getting a lot of second interviews. And so we'll see how it goes over the next couple of days and how it shakes out for him. So if Brian were to get a uh, position, say, let's just pick the Tennessee Titans. I mean, I know that's where – that's uh, in fact, I, I was contacted by a talk show host there who kept me on the line for 25 minutes. And I was just extolling the virtues of Brian Callahan. They they love him in Tennessee now. There's no, <laughs> there's, no there's no doubt about that uh, yeah. in, in Nashville. So um, but if, if say Brian moves on to Tennessee, just to pick one of the multiple second interviews that he's got going on. And and he do you, do you guys talk about or is it premature to talk about? Hey Brian, you know, don't be raiding my staff of everybody. I mean, it's like, <laughs> I'll let I'll let you take a guy, but don't be thinking you're going to be taking a bunch of guys off my staff. Do, do those kind of dialogues go on at all? Sure, you know, I, I think uh, just to have a, a picture of what he's thinking and how it affect me and our staff. Yeah, we we have those conversations, um, but again, it's it's you know you have to prepare. There, there's candidates outside this building that you, that you have to look at, and talk to, and. Um, that'll be interesting for us if, if it does go that direction. So, um, you know, I feel like we've got a great staff here in place and, and then you get an opportunity to look and see what else is out there to see if, um, you can always improve things. And so, again, those are some things that would take place if, if Brian were to get a head coaching job. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, the domino effect, the ripple effect, if Brian does move on, say Tennessee, okay, fill in that coordinator position and you've got candidates internally, coach Walters, coach Pitcher. I mean, they, they may be. Uh, being interviewed by there's seven openings still um, there might be more who knows but uh, they may be interviewed by not only Brian Callahan but other other uh, coaches that fill uh, head coaching vacancies so yeah you have to have not only an internal list of what you might do from an internal standpoint with moves you might make but that list externally and for you having coached in the National Football League for five years and having the run of success now for three straight years does, does that external list, I mean, does that grow, Coach? I mean, you're a great relationship builder. Have you made a ton of relationships that uh, you've got now that you may not have had when you first started coaching for the Bengals? Yeah, I think it's it's my responsibility to this organization to make sure that we assess all options and internally and externally, uh, kind of weigh, weigh what the best decisions are. And so there's great people out there that I know. There's some that I'm interested to know. Um, and I also have a lot of confidence in the guys that we have in the building. So there's a lot you got to take in and, and it's not just a clear cut. This is how we're going to do it. Move on. It's there's an interview process that will take place. It's very necessary. Um, and so again, that, that's the process that we would, we would jump into next. If, if Brian were to leave. Dave Lapham here. And every day I am grateful for my experience to have played professional football as a player. I realize self-motivation, leadership, and appreciating your teammates are key. At First Star Logistics, you can use those same attributes to create the life you want for you and your family. Build your future by working hard like I did. You'll see results both on and off the field. Call First Star Logistics today and be part of our winning team.